While we have you, Congresswoman, I want to turn to politics for a moment. You resigned your DNC post in order to endorse Senator Bernie Sanders. He's warning the Democratic convention could be, quote, messy, and he's supporting Debbie Wasserman Schultz's Democratic primary rival. What do you make of that, and what do you think that does to party unity? If you look at Senator Bernie Sanders and why he's run for president, if you look at his lifetime of service in politics, he's been very consistently focused on issues that are important to all of us across the country. He's brought so much uh, excitement and engagement and energy from people all across the country around issues like income inequality, breaking up the big banks, ending interventionist regime change wars like the one that's going on in Syria today. These are the issues that he is continuing to work toward bringing to the American people in the many states that still have yet to cast their vote and to provide that opportunity to the American people to exercise that right, to make sure that their voice is heard, both to the Democratic Party as well as to the country, about how they feel and what is most important to them. And on the question of unity? Well, this is, this is the, the important point to focus on are these issues, on hearing the voices, on making sure that as we head into the Democratic Convention, that the voices of all of these people who are coming, you know, 30,000 people, 25,000 people to these rallies, people who are engaging, some for the very first time, um, that this has not ever been about Bernie Sanders. It's been about making sure that their voices and the important issues that they represent are heard throughout this democratic process. Let me ask you this. We have heard Donald Trump essentially citing Senator Sanders in past days, reusing some of the senator's attacks on Hillary Clinton, that she has, quote, bad judgment, that she is not qualified to be president. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think that those kinds of attacks where uh, Donald Trump is using Senator Sanders' own words to attack Hillary Clinton is helpful when you look down the line at a general election? Well, I think it's important to hear, uh, to remember who we are trying to help. Uh, it's not one candidate over another. We're in this. We should be focused on how we help the American people. Senator Sanders has brought up clear contrast between himself and Secretary Clinton on a variety of issues. Uh, he has raised uh, his disagreement with her on a variety of issues. I have myself raised uh, the contrast between Senator Sanders and Secretary Clinton on issues relating to war and peace, on issues relating to a no-fly zone in Syria, something that Secretary Clinton supports, something that Senator Sanders and President Obama and military leaders oppose because they recognize that it would take us into yet another endless war that would affect not just the United States but the world. So that's, that's what we should be focusing on here, are the contrasts on these issues, informing the electorate so that they can make educated decisions and cast their vote and let their voice be heard which will help shape the direction uh, for our country. If Hillary Clinton does become the Democratic nominee, should Senator Sanders tell his backers to support her? Uh, that's a question for Senator Sanders. I think that he is focused, as am I and so many others, on continuing to inform voters and to earn their support uh, for Senator Sanders as we head into California, New Jersey, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and other states and territories uh, whose voices have not yet been heard in this election. All right, Representative Tulsi Gabbard. Congresswoman, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Elaine.